Ben. I'm Tyler Bronson. And today we are finally addressing the floors in the Nova. Man, it's been a long time to make and I'm excited, so let's get after it. Let's do it. See the nice tent we made here? It's a welding blanket to protect Travis's beautiful headliner. Oh man, the first cut. Always the scary one. No going back after this. Oh my, look at that. It doesn't want to come out, man. No, it does not. It's like I've been in here for so long. Right. You don't have to fight me. You can't have me. Woo! I think I'm gonna get those spot welds out of the way. And then I can start really sizing this one up. When you're doing floor pans, there's a few different ways you can do them. We're doing it, in my opinion, the proper way. We're getting all of the old bad metal out of there. We are not overlapping anything. We are butt welding our seams. We got the passenger side floorboard all out. Tyler got the spot welds out, so we got everything. He's gonna trim and get our fit, and then we're gonna tackle the tow board. Looking all right. Some of that excess on the back, and we'll be rolling. We cut the tow board in half. Tyler's thinking of a plan for us to kind of what we need to cut out. How far up you think we're going to cut the tow board? Oh, probably just right above the rust line here. Find good metal up there. We'll cut this one to match. And you're saying that the corner from the factory is different than our patch panel. Yeah, so our factory is more of a curve into the corner in here. Or this is just more of a hard 90. So we'll just cut it and shape it how we need to. Driver's side is out. Tyler's still tackling the uh, passenger side tow board. We're getting there though. Just got a little left to cut out and finish trimming up my new one. But this is an Auto Metal Direct driver's side. It's a full panel because at the time I really wanted to go with Auto Metal Direct for everything but they don't make just the front patch panel so I'm going to cut this in half using Tyler's awesome uh, robot shears that attach to his Milwaukee drill and this one has a little bit of the, the tow board on it so we're gonna see kinda how much we need to replace we might just be able to, to replace this as a one unit versus using the panel from Classic Industries so let's have to see so I'm, I'm gonna get the cutting this is all the metal we took out as you see driver's side was pretty blown out this uh, passenger side had a lot of bubbles so Tyler decided it was best to just go ahead and take her so here's where we're currently at. I need to try and get this spot welds out so it look like Tyler's side, which is looking very nice. I didn't really film cutting this out, well, because let's face it, we're running out of daylight. This is how the passenger side is. Tyler's got everything set up. Tow board's fit and ready to go in. And he uh, laid down some East Bay chassis black in there that I had sitting on the shelf. Turned out pretty nice, laid down nice and heavy. That'll lock in, of course, any surface rust that we got there and just prevent it from uh, spreading. Here's the driver's side. So he wasn't he wasn't playing when he said these spot welds on this uh, floor pan. Man, they're rough. I got about half of them done, half of them to go. Got a little bit more cleanup down there. And then uh, we'll start uh, working on the driver's side fitment. Check out all that yumminess on the garage floor. Driver's side panel fitment. We're gonna match that curvature down there by that gas pedal for a patch panel. You're getting close. We really didn't like what the fitment we were getting with the Automotive Direct one piece. The tow board and the four pan were combined into one. So we decided to go with the two piece setup. I'd already bought a tow board section anyway. 
So everything's gonna work out. Tyler has the tow board all spot welded in. Get ready to do the final trim for the foreboard, and then we can both start dual welding each side. Check this out. New metal is in. Tyler did the passenger side. I did the driver's side. I'm not going to show you my side because it doesn't look as pretty. Tyler's been uh, doing this for a long time. My side. It's definitely gonna hold in and not have any issues, but his side, man, it's almost like a work of art. Check this out. Now, I do have to seam seal everything still. And of course, also throw on some East, Eastwood chassis black, maybe even some rust encapsulator on some spots. Now from the factory, this spot right here is just spot welded. We decided to weld the full thing just because we might be racing this car one day. Check it out. New metal's in. Rusty old junk is out. Both sides are done. I am super psyched. Well, it was a lot of long hours, but the floors are finally done in the Nova. I'm so excited. We can finally get the ball rolling on the LS swap, doing some body bushings, uh, subframe connectors, and stuff like that. Now, I can't thank Tyler enough for coming. He did the passenger side. I did the driver's side. I learned a ton about working with thin sheet metal. I'd never done that before. This was a huge learning experience for me. I hope you all got something from this video, and if not, I hope you enjoyed it. Hit that subscribe button. We're going to be trying to post at least one to two videos a week, so there's definitely going to be more content coming. Thanks everyone for watching. I'm T-Brand. I'll see you on the next one.